Hello and welcome to this Quicksand Solutions tutorial on integrating Power BI reports in Business Central. Business Central is tightly coupled with Power BI and there are multiple places within Business Central where you can view Power BI reports. Let's start with our Role Center homepage. If I scroll down to the Power BI report section, we'll see here that there's currently no report showing, but I can choose to drop down and select Select Reports and I'll see a list of reports available to me within my organization. Let's take this sample report here. I'll choose the ellipsis and select Enable, then OK. We see we have a nice report dashboard that populates right on your homepage in your role center. If you have multiple reports, you can also scroll through them and select different ones to show on this homepage. In addition to viewing Power BI reports on your role center, you can also view them on various pages in Business Central, such as customers list, vendors list, sales orders, and purchase orders. Let's take a look at the customer list. When the list loads, the Power BI report pane is not visible by default. We can make it visible by going up to Actions, Display, and Show Hide Power BI reports. The pane loads, but there's no reports visible. So again, we'll go into Select Report, and we'll choose reports that we want to view. There's a couple that are specific to customers here, which would make good reports for this page. So let's select the customer ledger entries. I'll take the ellipsis and enable, and the report will load. This particular report is a simple list that shows customers and the amount of their ledger entries grouped by year and month. And you'll notice as I go down here that it's only showing entries for customer 10,000, which is my currently selected customer. That's a great feature of Power BI where you can include a filter so that when you change the customer or the related entity, the report will update dynamically. We see here that it's now updated to 10,001, which is the next customer. So far we've looked at how to view Power BI reports that were already published, but how do we add a new Power BI report and make it available in Business Central? Let's take a look at that next. We'll go back to our home page, and we'll bring up the Power BI desktop application. We need to select a data source for our Power BI report, so we'll come up to Get Data, and we'll choose the option More. The Get Data window comes up, and we can choose from various data sources. There are Business Central connectors that you can use in here to get data from Business Central, but a more flexible option is to use an OData feed. This relies on published web services within Business Central, which may be standard or custom built, and will give you a lot more flexibility when you're choosing your data. In order to use this OData feed, we need to get the URL from Business Central. So let's go back to Business Central, and we're going to open up Web Services. A list of web services populates, and you can choose which one you want to use as the data source for your report. So you can do a filter here, and we'll look for Power BI reports specifically. And we see a handful of reports that are tailored for use with Power BI. Let's take something like the customer list here. You'll notice there's a column that says OData URL, and that's what we need. So we're going to grab that value right there, and we're going to copy the link address. Now we're ready to go back to Power BI, where we'll select our OData feed and click Connect. Then put the URL into the field and click OK. Business Central Data is loaded in the Power BI window, and you can choose to transform the data beforehand if needed, or simply load it. The data loads successfully, and you can see under the query here the available fields that we have for our report. So now that we have our data loaded, we're ready to build the Power BI report. Before we get started, I'm just going to change the canvas size a little bit here. So 
this report fits better in Business Central. So let's go to Custom under Canvas Settings, and we'll do 325 by 350. It's a little better. And then we'll come and take our field. So let's take Customer Number. Then we'll add Customer Name. And finally, the Amount column. Okay, we'll just make this a little wider. So we've got a nice simple little report here. And to make sure that the report actually filters on the customer that we've selected, we're going to move the customer number field into the filters on all pages box. That way the report will update dynamically when we select a different customer from the list. Okay, we're all set. Now we're ready to save and publish our report. File and save. And let's call this customers with amounts. Once it's saved, we can come up and publish the report. We'll select a Power BI workspace and it will be published to that workspace there. The publishing was a success, so we'll close this and we'll return to Business Central to view the report. We'll go to the customer list. And we'll select the Power BI Reports pane and go into Select Report. Our new report is now available, Customers with Amounts. We will enable the report. And it populates. Thanks for watching. This concludes the Quicksand Solutions tutorial on integrating Power BI reports in Business Central.